morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to anyone new who might be here. Please take time, if you haven't already, to subscribe to the channel so I can get paid. That'll help me with my financial goals. Um, I feel like that the message might be for Gemini next, but if I'm wrong, I'm just wrong. So we're going to see what Spirit says. And I keep seeing an Ace of Cups for some reason. Maybe you're going to have a new love, Gemini, or maybe you're going to recommit to somebody. All right, Spirit, who is this message for? Yep, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. What prayer do you have for the sign of Gemini this morning, Holy Spirit? Oh God of heaven and earth, it is good to sing your praises and to bless your holy name always. You do great things for us. The whole earth is full of your glory. To you be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for endless ages. Amen. So for some reason, you're praising God this morning, Gemini, for some good that's going on in your life. All right, let's see. For some reason, I'm being told to get you a message out of here. Holy Spirit, can you leave me in a message for the sign of Gemini out of this book? In God's eyes, size doesn't equal significance. All right, and then turn the page I'm hearing. <clears throat> you are growing. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. 1 Corinthians 3, 7. God, we sometimes expect so much more from ourselves than you do from us. You know we are human and that as long as we're on this earth, we'll still be in the process of growth. Help us to be patient as you work in us, to embrace the grace you so freely give us, and trust that you will complete the good work you started in us. We are not who we were yesterday, and we're not who we will be tomorrow, but now and always we are loved. Amen. We tell ourselves we have to do it all, be it all, know it all right now. We deny ourselves the time and permission to really learn, and when we can't learn, we can't grow. God doesn't judge or pressure us that way. He knows all people are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field, 1 Peter 1.24. I used to read that verse as simply meaning life is brief, but I'm seeing it with new eyes lately, and I think what God is, is also reminding us of here is that grass is growing, flowers are growing, we are growing, which, mean he, which means he knows that from our first breath to our last, we are in a process, and that applies to everything from picking out curtains to becoming who he created us to be, and you know what? God's okay with that. He already knows us better than we know ourselves. If he's okay with it, then we can be too. He doesn't ask us for perfection, just growth. Every day, a little bit at a time, all the way until we're home with him. You are not who you were yesterday. You are not who you will be tomorrow. You are in the middle of the beautiful process of becoming. So Spirit is indicating that you're growing, Gemini. You're not who you used to be, and you're not who you're going to be, but you're growing, and that's beautiful. Spirit, thank you for that beautiful message for the sign of Gemini. Now, can I get a message from the Instant Magic Oracle, please? Holy Spirit, guide us in a message from the Oracle here. Close your eyes and see the 18-year-old version of yourself sitting in front of you. Tell them what they need to know. Divine timing is a factor here. Time, age, learning um, lessons is, is also a factor. If you haven't already done so, you might want to refer to Leo's video that we had last night because they also had this exact same message. So you might be dealing with the Leo, Gemini. And Spirit is saying, think about sitting down in front of yourself. Maybe you have a Leo in your life who is 18 years old, 
that won't be for everybody. But for some of you, you may have a younger Leo in your life and spirit is saying, what would you say to this person if they would listen? Because a lot of times teenagers won't listen. And perhaps yourself, 18 years old, wouldn't listen to you either. But if they would, what would you say to that person? What advice, what wise advice would you give that person? And we see that you're not who you used to be, but you're not who you're also becoming, but you're in this process of growing up, of changing, of transforming. All right, so keep that in the back of your mind, Gemini. And let's see what Spirit has to say to you. I'm, I'm here and use the red deck for you. So we're going to see what's working in your life. Wait a minute, Spirit said to get virtues. All right, Spirit, what virtues are working in Gemini's life right now? Spirit says peace, loyalty, there's the Leo vibe, and faith. So Spirit's helping you with being peace at peace, having loyalty, a loyal heart, lasting devotion to things that are true. All right, and having faith. And then we have responsibility. So you're also having to be responsible and courage. So we have a very strong Leo vibe here. So definitely take a look at the Leo reading. And I think it was actually the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading from last night. I don't remember for sure, um, but check that out. I think that was the one that had that message in it. Spirit, I can't remember. I don't remember and I haven't gone back and watched it yet. All right, Spirit, talk to me about what's working in Gemini's life. How are you working in the sign of Gemini right now? How are you working? We see that you're in the process of growth. You're in the process of change. You're not who you used to be, but you're not who you want to become either. There you are, showing up in your own reading with hope, Gemini. <laughs> you're in reverse, though. The lovers is about a, usually a choice, a decision. It can be about love. It can just be about love. And there are, I see Adam and Eve might somehow be significant to your life. And we have hope. So we have you and hope. But for some reason, you're in reverse, okay? All right. So what's not working then? What's working is you have hope. To maybe not make a decision. Judgment. Judgment. So we have a Libra vibe here. Judgment is about feeling like you can make a decision. Like you have a free, like you're, you're free to see things correctly almost. But for some reason that's not working. Like I don't think you're using good judgment somehow. Judgment is here, and it's available to you. I think you've considered it, but for some reason, this isn't the right judgment. This isn't being judged correctly. You could live in Las Vegas. Um, you may like to watch strippers or somehow nudity. I see two naked people here. Uh, women's breasts are standing out to me. You could like to look at pornography. I, that won't be for everybody, obviously. All right, how do we pull this together? The moon, strength, there's Leo again, and then we have an Aquarius here. So we have Cancer, we have Leo, and we have Aquarius, and all of this came out in reverse. But what it is, is it's hope, strength, and something you're not seeing or that you will finally see. It looks like to me you're going to see through some shadows about some weakness and a lack of hope. We have hope over here, but a lack of it here. For some reason, all of this came out in reverse. And then we have justice in reverse on the bottom of the deck. So that's like an injustice also. All right, this could be something legal for sure. Anytime you have judgment and justice come out together, it can be something legal. It probably has a, 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 a legal aspect to it, Gemini. It can also be very karmic. It could be karmic lessons that you're learning. 
and it has to do with peace, loyalty, faith, responsibility, and courage. Beautiful. Okay, Spirit, what do you want to do next for Gemini? What What would you like to do next? Let's see how this happened to you. How did this happen to Gemini? <clears throat> we can't be all things. We can't be all things. Your eyes need some help. Ask for it. Hire it. Make it happen. So somehow you couldn't be all things. That's how this happened. What's being hidden? Family shit is getting on your nerves and spend some time with them. Huh. So maybe your family is getting on your nerves. This is hidden though. And spend some time with your baby. This could be a child or it could be the person that you're interested in spending time with. Significant other, uh, lover, friend, whoever your baby would be. Your bae. You may, you may call this person bae. I can't stand that expression so i try not to use it but that's what the card says spend time with bay make art love or music so what's being hidden is that family shit is getting on your nerves everyone could use a little fucking break and spend time with them make art love or music so family shit's getting on your nerves but secretly there's somebody that you want to spend time with all right what's being shown That you need to forgive <laughs> and cook a fucking meal, Gemini. <laughs> maybe you just love to cook or maybe you, could, you do cook your own meals. Forgive, not for them. Do that shit for you. And homemade food is foreplay. <laughs> so maybe you're going to spend time with somebody and cook them a fucking meal. <laughs> All right. What should Gemini do next, Spirit? Oh, wow. They're still waiting. Don't let it all hang out. Your boundaries are trash. And just say those five little words. So what you should do next is know that they're still waiting. Do the shit they asked you to do forever ago. Remember, we can't be all things. If you need help, ask for it, hire it, make it happen. So somebody, somebody's still waiting. Don't let it all hang out. Leave some shit to the imagination. So maybe this person or maybe you dress provocatively <laughs> and they have very bad boundaries. And Spirit says, just say those five little words. Where do you want to eat? So, yeah, it looks like you are, in fact, thinking about spending time with somebody. And this could be your family. Maybe they like to go out to eat and maybe you like to cook. <laughs> All right, and then on the bottom of the deck, we have, it's not that serious. Laugh, fuckers. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter. <laughs> All right, Gemini. <clears throat> Let's pull some tarot on this and see what's going on here. We're going to use the good tarot. Spirit, why is the lovers here for the sign of Gemini? Why is the lovers here? There's the Ace of Cups. <laughs> the decision is about this new opportunity in love that you have. And then the Ace of Cups can also represent a pregnancy. That won't be for everyone. See how it looks like this, this seahorse is pregnant here. It's holding some kind of baby or some kind of pearl. It could be a pearl. Somehow pearls could be significant. Pink roses may also be significant to your life. Somebody in your love life or in your life, it doesn't have to be your love life, could be named Hope. So you're having to make a decision or not make a decision because it's in reverse about somebody new. Maybe you haven't made a decision about somebody new, a, a new love. All right. Why is Hope here? Sagittarius is here. That's Pisces. Because you're reevaluating something and being patient. 
I think you're reconsidering this love. It could be somebody from your past that you want to have a recommitment with. 714 could be a significant date for you. 1714 could be a significant date for you. So, there's an Ace of Cups here that you're reevaluating. What's the reevaluation about? What are they reevaluating? The Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So, this could be. A Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, because I don't have any of those signs here. I have Libra twice, Cancer, Leo, Aquarius, and you, Gemini. You could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, yeah, you're dealing with a Leo for sure, but I meant to say Libra twice. You could be dealing with two Libras. So this is about working, maybe working together with this mother friend, lover, this is, this person right here, this could be you or it could be this Sagittarius, but this person, they, if they are the Sagittarius, they have an earth placement. You might have been fighting your feelings for this person. That might be what you're reevaluating. You're having to be patient, but I don't know what that means. Yet. So, what you're reevaluating is how this used to work, or if this can work. You're trying to decide if this can work, and if it's maybe worth fighting for. All right, why is patience here? <clears throat> you know it's worth fighting for. The Two of Cups came out. <laughs> so, not only is it worth fighting for, you are indeed patiently waiting to have a reunion with this person, Gemini. Alright, how does this person feel about Gemini? The Page of Cups, the Star, and the Ten of Wands. So, it, it, it could be a friend of yours. The Page of Cups is either a friend, a child, or an apology. And this person trusts you. They're hopeful. They're also hopeful that this will happen. But there's something that's ended here. It could be a marriage because the Ten of Wands can represent the end of something heavy. And in this, deck, in this deck, see how there's papers and all of these papers are burning. This could be marriage certificates, birth certificates, whatever this is that's burning here. It could also be music. It, it kind of looks like hymnals that are burning. Old hymnals. It could be. I don't know. But this <clears throat> this person feels like they're your friend or like you owe them an apology. And maybe they hope that something will end. Let's find out what's ended here. Clarify what ended. The King of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Two of Wands. So, this is somebody that's very much in love, and they may have moved out. It could be a masculine here. They, whatever ended here, they started something new or moved to their own new place. And they stopped fighting. There was some fighting. There's definitely some winning at all costs and... Like being worn out at a crossroads and just like you feel tired. You're tired of the fighting. I think they were tired of fighting with you. Or maybe you're tired of fighting your feelings. That's what's going to end. Maybe they hope you'll stop fighting your feelings for them. That might be what they hope. They might be a friend and they feel like there's hope for you guys, but you they hope that you'll stop fighting your feelings. Alright, why is judgment here? There's going to be a wheel and a call. Uh, something, something's going to happen. What's not working is that something happened and a call. This could be you fighting your calling in life. Clarify the wheel. That's clarified by the sun, the three of pentacles, 
the King of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So there's this sense of happy and working with this person. This could be you. The wheel is about being happy and working. And then this ending again. You have two major endings here. The Ten of Swords and the Ten of Fire. That is some heavy shit that needs to end. There's something that's about to end for you, Gemini. It's coming to an end real fast, too. Could be in three months, 19 days, 17. Could come to an end by May 2nd. May 2nd could be significant. By March 10th. 10 is here twice, though. Something's ending for you, Gemini. For sure. And I think that this ending, whatever this is that's ending, is going to make you very, very happy. <laughs> Alright, why is the call here for Gemini? Because there's hope. This call is going to bring hope in dark times. This could be a phone call. You might get a phone call that brings hope in some darkness about an ending. Oh, wow. Something painful. There could have been a painful ending for some of you. And it was about somebody who was needing hope in darkness. Alright, why is the moon here? Because of the messenger of air and the empress. So, this message could be from this empress. Alright, why is strength here with the star? Dang, that's a lot of cards, spirit. The Hermit is here, that's Virgo, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Messenger of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Golly. So, the message that came in was about soul searching, about everything, having everything, and how much this hurt. There was something that hurt. The Three of Swords is about a heartache. So it was like, you're soul searching about wanting to have it all. But somehow you're hurt, or you're maybe afraid that this might hurt somebody. You're moving towards having a commitment. You're moving towards a relationship. And recovering from something. You could be sick, or somebody in your life could be sick. And going the distance. Like, this is what's going to pull it together is you getting a message from this Empress. And soul searching. Maybe you're going to find out that they've been thinking a lot about having it all and that they've been very hurt and they. They wanted you to move towards them to have a relationship, to get well, to recover, to rest, and that they thought this was going to go the distance. And maybe hearing that is going to pull this together. It looks like you're going to get a phone call from a mother, a wife, or a twin flame. That's what it looks like. And it's because Spirit's working on you having a relationship. And then we have justice. Why is justice on the bottom of the deck? Because of an emperor, a nine of swords, and a four of cups. So the injustice is that this person has been very stressed out. The nine of swords is like nightmares. Like They have been having nightmares about... Somebody not taking love. They've been having nightmares about that. Outcome spirit. There's temptation showing up here. What is this temptation about? The number 15 might be significant. The Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. So, there's sexual temptation here. Or, they're tempted to recognize that they're very attracted to somebody and that they're unconditionally in love. That's what they're tempted. Like, they have been withholding themselves 
back. And I, it's causing them to have a lot of anxiety and stress and to stay up at night thinking about this. And they're tempted to just give into it, to just go for it. And this is what's going to transform this. They might move somewhere. This will give them calmness. This will give them the, the serenity that they need, that they can start making some plans, some tangible plans. And then we have the tower under that. All right. So let's look at this deck. Show me what's going on with Gemini here, Spirit. Somehow you've been bound. Gemini, you're showing up as being bound. Could be by something like a devil. Okay. What's going on with Gemini's person? They have big dreams. All right, what's what's pulling them together? What's pulling them together, spirit? Pulling them and their person together. Somebody's got to be released from separation, and they've learned some lessons. And divine feminine on the bottom. Clarify being bound. Somebody's been crying and having understanding, Gemini. It looks like you've been bound, and this has caused you to have to purge, maybe cry, and have understanding. All right. Why is big dreams here for their person spirit? Because you're mirroring. I think you both have big dreams. For some reason, you're understanding what it feels like. You're, you're understanding what this person felt like when they were bound. When they couldn't have this. Like, you can't have this, and I think it's hurting you. And you're understanding what they felt like. And they have big dreams, and they understand what you like. Y'all are mirroring each other big time. And what's bringing you together is a release. There's a separation and lessons. Uh, what might be the outcome of this situation, Spirit? We have communication here. So there's going to be communication between the two of you. What will this be about, Spirit? What will this communication be about? The outcome is communication. There's going to be an offer made. Somebody's going to communicate with you that they want to offer you something. What might be the response to the offer? Wow. They were wearing a mask this winter. They're going to also tell you that they were wearing a mask this winter. All right. <coughs> Outcome, fear of the offer. Shadow work is here and devotion. But the answer is going to be no. So, the answer is going to be no because they're wearing a mask. They're pretending like they don't want this. Or they don't want this. But they're pretending like they do. Somehow there's, a, there's somebody wearing a mask this winter. And there's shadow work. And the, the, answer, the answer may have already been no. Huh. Somebody might be numbing. What what else are we missing here? There's a third party. Somebody's going in a new direction to be by themselves. Twin flame on the bottom of the deck. So maybe they decided they didn't want this and they're going to be in solitude instead. Anything else you want to say to Gemini before I move on? That this is settling. You're settling. There's a fresh start, a union, and surrender here. And you might be thinking about that also. Even though that's not the direction you're going in. Alright, Spirit, what would you say out of this deck to the sign of Gemini? That's what Spirit would say out of this deck. Twin flame. 
the money needs to wait. The timing is not quite right. All right, what else? This is a friendship and self-care is here. You need to take care of yourself, Gemini. All right, what else? There's a new love and abundance showing up. See the Ace of Cups? This new love is going to lead you to abundance. Somebody is longing for this. All right, anything else? This is true love. The, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And we see that here. This is a new love that's going to lead to abundance. And it's true love. If somebody's learned a spiritual lesson. And it's friendship. It's a friendship right now. I think that this friendship is turning into love. And it's going to lead you to abundance. And it is true love. If you've been questioning that. All right, anything else you want to say? There needs to be forgiveness here. There needs to be trust. Oh, baby, this is in the wrong deck. Stop trying to control every damn thing. This is a past life love, and you need to play hard with Sagittarius. Patience under that. Oh, wow. <clears throat> what would this new love say to Gemini spirit? All right, I'm only going to take the ones that turned over. This new love would say, lying was just easier for me than telling the truth. Somebody lied about their feelings. Would you reject me? Our connection still affects me, and I don't know how I feel anymore. What would Jim and I say to them? I know I screwed things up, and honestly, I have no idea how to fix it. I think they told you they didn't want this, and now they don't know how to re, re you know, like backpedal or something. And then we have, I'm in a much better headspace now. Remember, I told you that was going to help them to change to, like, move to a calmer place in this. All right. What healing does Gemini need, Spirit? inner child is here so there may be some inner child work that needs to be done in this relationship and i think we've seen that twice all right anything else victim consciousness somebody might like to play the victim here love is here and phoenix rising so there's there's a need for healing in your love life and we see that and then we have Phoenix rising. Somebody's going through a spiritual awakening. You both are, obviously. We have home. <clears throat> we have soulmate. And we have healing that need to be also healed. So there's a soulmate vibe also in addition to the twin flame. And it's a home, soulmate, and healing. There's a soulmate relationship that's at home or that somehow connected to your home that needs healing in addition all right what spiritual gift messages do you have for gemini spirit the chakras are here and clouds so somehow seven eight might be significant to you eight five three could be significant to you your chakra being in alignment gemini is is something that spirit indicates needs to be addressed maybe or that you're doing a good job with that take it as it resonates and then the clouds so somehow keep your eye on the clouds because the clouds speak to us from the spirit world there are doves here somehow doves might be i'm hearing that song by prince um when doves cry that could be significant to someone and then we have your abundance showing up on the bottom of the deck. Anything else from the spiritual gifts deck for the sign of Gemini spirit? <clears throat> Infinity is here. And coins. <laughs> so it's like infinite. Oh wow, here's more. Travel is here. And nature. So it's like infinity in infinite abundance from travel and nature. And then there's Phoenix rising again. You might feel like you've lost your mind, but Spirit says you just need to meditate. And then we have this angel showing up on the bottom of the deck. 
Speaking of angels, how are the angels helping Gemini here? They're giving you power. They're helping you with procrastination. And they're teaching you something. You're learning. You could be in school. Somebody's into Superman or Superwoman. You might live in a big city. You might live somewhere where there's a subway or a train station. Somebody's doing some very high-level mathematical, like looking at drawings of things. You might be in this you're very technical, like you can fix technical things. Could involve music somehow. I uh, could involve headphones somehow. And then I have inspiration. The angels are helping you to be inspired and give you clarity and faith. Remember that about this solitude with challenges, helping you overcome challenges to keep your thoughts positive and to give you success. Somebody who lives near a tunnel. There's a rainbow. There's things flying all around the air. I don't know if they're feathers or if it's papers. It looks like feathers. You're going to have success, though, to overcome these challenges. All right, man. Any other messages? Let's see what messages Spirit has for you out of this deck, Gemini. Messages for Gemini out of here. Your animals are showing up, Gemini. For some reason, Spirit wants to talk about your animals. Also, your financial health is, is something that needs to be addressed. Okay. We're going to address that in a moment. You're going to get answers. This is protected, and you're going to have good luck. Gemini, with your dreams on the bottom of the deck. I'm here one more time. You're going to be able to find trust. So maybe there's trust issues here. There's a blue and black butterfly. Your home is here. Inspiration and lighten your load are also showing up, Gemini. Whatever that might mean to you. You might need some inspiration about home and how to lighten your load. All right, Spirit, let's talk about Gemini's money. What would you say to Gemini about money? Your real estate is showing up again, Gemini. Somehow your home, there's, there's home here three times. All right, what about real estate, Spirit? <laughs> Celebrate is here. Business is here. Fear is here and growing up. Somebody might party too much and have a fear of growing up. This could also mean celebrate your business and don't be afraid to grow up. Celebrate business, fear, and growing up clarifies real estate. All right, any other messages for Gemini? Settling is here again. Fear says you're rebelling and settling. That there needs to be trust. All right, what should Gemini do instead of settle? You're going to have new money. Be patient. There's a partnership. Clarify this partnership. Oh, baby, Gemini. You have a windfall a transporter and trust. So you're gonna have a windfall and somebody's gonna transport and you can trust. This could be about moving. You're gonna have a windfall, Gemini, but there needs to be caution taken, okay? Be careful, all right? Any other messages here? Work hard in silence, Gemini. Work hard in silence. All right, anything else, Spirit? Success will find you. There's going to be change, Gemini. <laughs> so I have retail, easy does it, and net and nature. You're going to have somebody that'll purchase. Be, be easy, be careful, and get grounded. Then we have caution, ask for help, and promoter. <clears throat> All right. 
All right, baby. All right, <laughs> let me calm down. Oh, Gemini. I am, am I communicating my needs and what risk can I take today? That was Leo's advice. Let me put it back. Advice for Gemini spirit. How does my body want to move today? So somehow your body might, <clears throat> my throat chakra is closing. When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? Today's soul action. How does your body want to move today? Listen and joyfully do. All right. Anything else? Am I communicating my needs and what risk can I take today? Somebody else had that same message. Your needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that what you're feeling is not true? Today's soul action, journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter and do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? And I think it's trust. We see trust as an issue here. What risk can I take today? Be not mistaken. You will have to take bigger risks than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams. You will have to take the big scary leap. But do not fret because your soul has wings. Today's soul action. What risk can you take today to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover what you are really made of. And then on the bottom of the deck, I have, Does my life have room for more pleasure and play? All right. In what areas are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work. Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? Today's soul action. What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play. Let go of any need to produce anything. All right, Gemini, that is going to be a wrap for your reading. Let me get you some initials. So if you don't hear your initials, that doesn't mean this message is not for you. That just means that that person needed a little something extra. L, L, E, M, A, V, K. A-E-L-L, L-P-P-L. -L. So I have P-P-L-L-W-M-G. R-Q-K-P-D-M-L. K-P-R-H. T E N X A S V P T J E K G N D W L One more time I'm hearing B T T L L D A. Then we have dat bat. We have two L's, two T's, a B, an A, and a D. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Spirit. What trinkets would you give me for Gemini? Okay, I have. A piece of crystal, a piece of lapis, because that throat chakra would be trying to close, Gemini. And that was an, a compass. A red marble. Remember, it felt like you were losing your mind. I have a cross. I have a flower. A turtle. A gasket. A bee. An elephant. A cross. 
a cat for that Leo, <laughs> an elephant, an angel, an infinity sign, an arrow that says love, a fancy heart that says love, two hearts connected, you are my sunshine, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world, somebody in your life might love cute shoes, I have a marble, a squid, or they might like Marilyn Monroe, another turtle, Gemini, <laughs> always in my heart. I think we were at always in my heart. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. I have a, a plain heart. A hand for protection or for your intuition. Look, there's a cute shoe. I told you somebody in your life liked cute shoes, Gemini. <laughs> Could be you. I have a bird. No, 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 no. A crescent moon. I had to cut the light off to keep the phone plugged in. I have a seahorse, they mate for life. I have a plain heart with a peace sign. I have a teddy bear holding a flower. I have a fancy heart, a lot of hearts. A unicorn, a crown, and a butterfly. Okay. Trinkets from this bowl, spirit. Trinkets from this bowl. All right. I have two huge keys. Remember, I think it was you that had real estate or the home showing up over and over. I have this military pendant. Somebody might be in the military or somebody could have been in the military in your life. I have an angel. Could have been your dad or your uncle. I have a, a wing. I have drive safe. I need you here with me. Somebody in your life might be driving. You might have a new driver in the family. I have a music note with a skull. A prick or a cactus. A dog tag. Somebody's in the military or was. I have dream big. Remember somebody had big dreams? I have a lot of arrows here. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius, and I think we saw that in your reading. And one of them is holding on to an infinity sign for dear life. This Sagittarius is holding on for dear life to this infinity sign. <laughs> Remember infinity? And then I have believe in love, another infinity sign, a fancy heart with a flower, a marijuana or a maple leaf, a horse, and another feather. Gemini, and then I'm being told to get rocks for you, and I haven't done the rocks in a while, but I do have a, a lunchbox, a cool retro lunchbox that I don't even know how old it must be, but I have rocks for you with feathers on it that still wants me to get rocks for you, and maybe you've been around for a while and you know about the rocks. I have strength, blessed, accept. And blessed again. So, accept strength. Blessed, blessed. So, you're going to be incredibly blessed, Gemini. Do not doubt that. And there's communication here that's showing up. So, best of luck with that. Now, I'm being told to get you a dream card. Dream cards for the sign of Gemini. You don't need to explain or justify what you know to be true in your heart. This is your life, your journey. Enjoy every fabulous moment. You are special. The most special you this world is ever going to see. Follow your bliss, walk your own path, and let your special talents shine bright for everyone to see. So you have some special talents, and, and you're special indeed. Let your dreams shift and shape just like your life shifts and shapes every day. Ask yourself every morning, am I shaping my life the way I want it to be? All right, Gemini, thank you so much. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Um, that helps me to get paid. I'm hearing something else. Oh, Lou. Spirit, <laughs> we did the trinkets already. All right, Spirit wants a message for you. Next, may I access your wisdom, please, for the sign of Gemini. What message do you have for the sign of Gemini? Spirit says you need to be confident. You need to have confidence in your success, Gemini. Have confidence in your success. I have the number six, 
and the number 12. And then we have choices, loyalty, and self-worth with love under that. So be confident in your success. You have some choices to make. You have, you have loyalty showing up and self-worth with love under that. Okay, Gemini, that is your reading. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Spirit, really? <laughs> Spirit said to give you one more thing. I'm like, Spirit, whatever. <laughs> I thought the reading was over, Gemini. <laughs> if you're still with me, Spirit still has another message for you. Messages for the sign of Gemini Spirit. All right, Spirit, straighten up. May I get a message for the sign of Gemini, please? What message do you have? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Be there for you, Gemini, and medicine wisdom. Be there for you. Let's see what Spirit wants to say to you. I've never had Spirit do this where the reading just kept going on and on. Um, number four, be there for you. <clears throat> It's time to let yourself off the hook. Don't interpret the behavior of other people or circumstances outside of your control to indicate something negative about you. Forgive yourself for anything that you feel you have done wrong. You can learn from your choices more easily if you stop push, punishing yourself whenever you feel that you've made a mistake. Even the decisions that we regret can help us grow wiser when we swap judgment for compassion sometimes we can only learn what we need to know from what doesn't work out so well at the time forgive yourself have your own back and be good to you do you remember the 18 year old you and what would you say to that person this is about some regrets that you have and not letting that hold you hostage and look this is definitely a gemini card isn't it see the twins all right, your spiritual guidance. You have an open, sensitive, beautiful heart. Sometimes the world cannot meet that heart of yours on equal terms. Sometimes the hearts of others are just too closed and afraid. That's okay because it's part of why we were born, to help heal and open the hearts of the world. You are wise and you... Know your purpose is to shine the beauty of your divine heart freely for all to experience. You, you never have to close down or turn away from that sacred purpose in the world, but you do deserve to be safeguarded and protected. Know that you have your own back. When fearful, angry people lash out in pain trying to hurt others because they cannot get past their own hurt, do not make it about you. Your heart knows how to love you and protect you whilst it has compassion for the suffering that another may be feeling. Remember that you must be there for yourself, nurturing your own heart with plenty of love. Give to yourself just as you give to the world with kindness and generosity. Don't allow anyone or anything to make you forget what is real and true. The wisdom and love that fills your own divine heart and help this to heal this world. Sorry, I can't see well in the dark. And then sacred ritual. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Sway a little from side to side. Imagine that you sway there. Okay, imagine that as you sway there, there is a river of energy that travels between your two hands. The river of energy swirls and flows around your hips and your heart, leaving you feeling inspired and really, really good. You now have twice the amount of energy. Stay loud. I am a fortress of divine love. I stand strong in my divine presence. I am peacefully and powerfully me with a beautiful heart, divinely protected. All right, Gemini, I hope that's the end or I, you know, I don't mind going on. If that's the end, Spirit, <laughs> that's the end, Christy. Love you guys. Bye-bye.